Sex is basically an act between two people making love or for fun or other things. Basically, then intercourse. Uh, it's an uh, intercourse between uh, two persons or more. It can also be uh, an intercourse with only one person. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I mean, I can't be personally, but I do know that it doesn't have to involve the traditionally thought um, genital. It doesn't have to involve sexual organs. I think there's also other ways that people get pleasure. And if people get pleasure from such activities that is usually related to sex, I think it should also be considered as a, a sexual activity. Whether it's sex per se, in a term, I'm, I'm not sure whether that's going to be accurate or not. gender chromosome that you're born with, if you're referring to that, <laughs> if you're referring to relationships in, in that sense, then I would suppose intercourse, yeah. Dia keperluan kita lah Jangan cakap keperluan kita Sebab Eh dapat detect tak? Dapat detect Keperluan kita Keperluan kita sebagai Benda Bukan benda Ya benda lah yang hidup Sebab kita spesies apa Mamalia Kita beranak kan Bukan bertelur Tapi apa-apa binatang yang bertelur pun dia reproduction. Tapi sex dia ada dua benda. Untuk kepuasan ke atau untuk reproduction. Kalau zaman dulu memang dia orang perlukan reproduction lah sebab main power kan untuk jaga family. So kalau sekarang ni kita dah ada modern life kan. So kita memang rasa nak lepas kita punya hormon tu je. So and basically benda ni sehat kalau kita buat dengan konsisten lah so dia bukannya setakat uh, kepuasan diri sendiri ini terlibat dua-dua pihak uh, partner kita pun terlibat untuk kepuasan ni kan oh, uh, keperluan lah keperluan lah uh, keperluan, lah. Okay. Uh, keperluan setiap apa-apa yang hidup ni lah manusia ke binatang ke apa-apa uh, serangga Seks uh, Untuk saya Seks ni dia Untuk saya Seks ni dia adalah Satu Sekejap eh Sekejap Sekejap Kem Dah ke Mun Thai Jah Hai Tim Yang Hu Thai Seng Lah Ke Teng Yi Hai Me Lah 我就會覺得性嘅定義呢，誒、呃、當然基本嗰啲肌膚接觸啊，嗰啲其實係唔唔係計算在內嘅。我覺得性嘅定義係會有一個性行為啦，基本一定係有性行為啦。男同女之間，或者男同男，誒、呃、或者係女同女，有呢個性嘅行為呢，咁都係一個。我覺得係已經係一個性嘅定義嚟噶。Sex lebih satu hubungan sesama manusia tidak kira jantina. Oleh lelaki dan perempuan, perempuan dan perempuan, lelaki dan lelaki. 
Sebab sex ni dia adalah satu expression terhadap hubungan antara sesama makhluk Mungkin tujuan utama dia untuk meraihkan naluri Apa yang membuatkan kita sebagai makhluk hidup So mungkin kalau secara teknikalnya Sex ni adalah Untuk menjaga kelangsungan spesies Agar tak pupus Tapi dalam masa yang sama Nature Sumpama Memberikan hadiah pada rasa Sex tu sendiri Something that's very intimate Which relates to Two person Or more than two person Expressing their love in the physical way Which is that But for me, to me personally, it's very intimate thing. Things that you only share with the people that have a mutual agreement with you to do it together. I think love feeling and happy Nhi có là là một trong sinh vật và cho phản dịch hạ nhất tội để vay chuyển hạ tội để tạo ra một trong công lực如果用功能化來用這個性別我不知道怎麼說如果在形容詞裡來說性別是一種很有感情的裡面的但如果在功能上性別是沒有感情的進行一種叫做交配繁衍下一代對我來說就是做愛或者是如這個可能是解決了自己生理的需要的即是你小時候可能看到一些東西的時候會有興奮啊會有亢奮的東西就會有Definisi seks, uh, okay. seks sangat confused, sangat pening sebab um, kalau ikut ada borang, dia tanya seks merujuk kepada jantina um, Tapi saya rasa banyak orang anggap seks itu sebagai aksi seks, perbuatan seks hmm, I feel like um, when we talk about seks, uh, it's more on like um, being together with a person or another I mean more than one person is already like a big discussion about it uh, and then the uh, the hidden discussion about sex is the one with yourself the one that you get to explore with yourself so it's more on exploration on your body and the other body that you are connecting with so more like um, interaction, connection, natural, everyone have it Human or non-human, everyone should have it, and it should be something that is being lightly talked about rather than being kept on.
Oh, besar sebab Bila orang gunakan seks sebagai pakaian, saya rasa Sebab orang Meletakkan seks tu sebagai satu topik yang Sensitif Atau tabu I think because of that Yang menyebabkan seks tu diguna pakai sebagai weapon uh, Andai topik seks ni Kita make it open Semua orang boleh borak Tak ada benda yang sensitif sangat pasal seks ni Kita celebrate I rasa dia tak akan jadi senjata pun Untuk um, meriur Kehuskan keadaan Mencipta kekecauan Policy maker eh Polisi mereka I rasa I akan fokus lebih kepada Projek very luas lah Kiranya mungkin I akan Susahnya jawab soalan tu Sebagai orang yang tak suka undang-undang kan I'm like okay Tapi I rasa approach I Bukan nak cipta polisi Tapi I akan encourage orang untuk Talk more about sex Ataupun um, uh, uh, Education part lah I think I will go for more education That There's no such thing As sensitive Gitu There's no such thing as sensitive Topic or whatever tabu Let's us talk everything That we want And We will provide information I think That's info, that's kind of Policy will be Okay We will be better We need access We need to have access People should have access Semua orang ada ada Equal opportunity to access uh, Equal access Yeah Information yes, which is something. I don't know. I find um, uh, first is the problem of the of the terms. Uh, there's objectification and there's uh, sexualization. So I think sexualization is uh, acknowledging that human have sexuality uh, and then maybe portraying yourself as a sexual being, I don't, which I don't think is wrong. Uh, but I think objectifying or objectification maybe is. Um, Maybe can mod, can borderline be quite uh, manipulative uh, as well. Uh. So I think there's a very thin line because if the person consents to it, then it's fine. Because you know, if, if he or she wants to sexualize um, his or her body, but if it is objectified by other people without his or her consent, uh, then that is wrong. Uh. Uh, and then uh, when it comes to children, I don't think it's uh, it's uh, it's negotiable. I think I think yeah, I think children should never be. Um, sexualized or objectified until they reach the age where they are able to make decisions in a reasonable manner. Uh, actually, uh, first of all, I think it's not just to play this thing. I think it's not just to play this thing. Everyone has heard about it. It's a strong feeling. This thing is just to play this thing. 即係就算你冇性伴侶，你可能會誒、呃、自足啊咁嘅嘅嘅嘅生理嘅需求。咁至於誒、呃、到性攞嚟做買賣，其實呢個遠古嘅行業嚟㗎，即係唔係今時今日㗎？即係誒、呃、聖經都有講啊，或者以前中國都有講有娼妓啊，即係因為。誒、呃、可以進行呢樣嘢之後，有金錢或者或者一啲嘢嘅報酬嚟到去願意將自己嘅個嘅性提供俾另外一方，呢、這個唔係今時今日嘢，係人類遠古時候，即係無論係歐洲也好，東方也好，咁都係由呢啲、啊、中古世紀也好先有關係，職業添係一種職業添，譬如妓院啊啲嘢啊。所以誒，喺再睇翻你自己嘅信仰啦，睇翻你嘅宗教啦、背景啦，係咪容許啦？咁現今嘅社會，大部分嘅國家都係誒禁槍嘅，咁所以就睇，我覺得呢樣嘢係一個文明社會應該持續要有嘅嘢。Having certain more, I suppose you could say like traditional ideas about the women's role, um, it's naturally ingrained into the idea of the objectification of women's bodies or the tendency of blaming women. Say, for example, if a woman gets raped, it's 
generally deemed as her fault because she wore clothes that were too sexy <laughs> or anything like that. Yeah, but that that's we know that's bullshit. Statistically, it's been shown it's rubbish as well. Um, and I think one of the biggest issues in that that circumstance is that people don't quite realize um, that they're objectifying women's bodies or objectifying each other's bodies or reinforcing certain stereotypes that don't necessarily help us move forward yeah, in a healthy, positive way. I mean, for me, based on that comment of the politician, is clearly the politician the sex orientation is a uh, heterosexual, uh, I guess, uh, which is the standard straight guy that have sexual uh, feelings toward the other gender, which is woman. So it's for me, even though in terms of. Uh, uh, <laughs> Even though for me, in terms of sexual orientation, I'm considered as a heteronormative guy, which is like I'm a straight guy still. But the way I see sex, it's not just that I believe in LGBT, you know, the other kind of sexual orientation, gay, lesbian, and so on. So for me, this is the, the the first thing about it, uh, based on that comment of that politician, clearly this issue still is a problem within our society worldwide uh, to accept other kind of sexual orientation. So this is also one of the reasons, I guess, why women always being subjected. You know. Yao 因為其實真的很難一批為這件事付出更多一千八十片一千十十片吧在一個人出來
think it's kind of messed up because some people objectify certain things depends on what is their niche. Some people, they objectify... It's a very lucid question because sometimes mostly men, they would objectify women in a specific type where they need to be in a certain way even though it's, it's hard to fit in that standard because there's like all kinds of people but it also comes with a certain fetish that they have because some people they have this certain fetish that they feel like they're objectified by it because they get off on that even though some people they find it kind of repulsive or disgusting but they just do it in their own way because it's hard to say that objectification can be anything you know it can be anything some people they can objectify by looking at buildings so mm -hmm. i feel like objectification can have a certain relation with fetish mm. Not agree, and then the man's a force for the lady to, to have a sex. What I think, I think this the same as something the ladies don't agree, and then doesn't feel comfortable. So the the men approach them without their their agreement or the the. They allow to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is not acceptable for me. If the ladies that doesn't doesn't want to, why are you forced to do that? Yeah. Talking about the value, mm -hmm. the value, human value, value problem. So it depends on the who people do gonna be do that. So if it's just like a like a deal. Just like you pay money for to get something, and then you pay for to get something. It depends on the value of the the people. So if they they want to do this, do don't hurt other people. So this is more important there. Okay. But basically, they agree that mm -hmm. they want that something like a like a like a trade like a deal. Yeah. You know the man, the even the policeman cannot. Do something with the ladies, especially just touch them, and then they have to ask the ladies police, uh, ladies police, to do that, because it is a human being. This is under law, they cannot do so. Who, whoever they do for the ladies from the for the policeman, this is this is illegal. Yeah, this is a criminal. I don't believe it. They even know proof. They just say, ah, I heard by somebody, but this is right. This is real or not? They cannot prove that. How can they say they they have to take their uh, responsibility to do that? They're policemen and somebody just working in the government. They have a their responsibility to do that. They absolutely against the what their what their work, what their job. So this is. No proof to say, to say, this now Hong Kong, you know, now now we are in Hong Kong. We are just a really serious, really serious city now. So they just all are here by somebody. This is ridiculous, right? We have a law. If you say something, you are very important people, especially policemen. They have proof that, and then this is. You know, this is under regulation, our regulation, our law. Mm -hmm. Not to say, this is ridiculous for me. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. The ladies will do that. Mm -hmm. Even the, I, I, I think the front of po uh, protesters, they, they never to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, they lie people because they, they were doing something really wrong, illegal. They just. They just fool the media to just, you know, to lie for the people because not many people know that. Especially, especially the elderly, they have no idea. Just, just, just watch TVB or just, just read just a uh, Oriental newspaper. So under, you know, under the background is very red mm -hmm. from the China government. We all knew, so 
So most of them, the elderly, they have no idea. Just they, they just get used to to watch TV and then just it's a very old media newspaper show. Just want to night them, night to the elderly. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea because China, because I I'm, I didn't go to China for such a long time, so. I, I cannot make the decision about now what's happening in China because I didn't even touch it and then see it and then to be there to I think if I I see it in front of me I can do something from my uh, conclusion but now no I don't know I think we got a bias from our transition <laughs> yeah so Okay. Yeah, the, the bias, I think the bias, because the people just, you know, the ladies something just like a more weak and then just they just something suffer from the man, mm-hmm. yeah, and other the, because the, the more problem, nobody to want to catch it mm-hmm. for the kid, mm-hmm. but the more problem, I think the more country government, they don't explore it, they let, let people know that we have problem this this problem in my country. So this is my point for you. Ni masalah social media apa ni masalah media. Dia salah interpret dengan um, structure body manusia. Uh, sebab naturally kita memang uh, sepatutnya fit kita kita kena sihat ha. so kalau media mempergunakan body kita untuk kepentingan orang so bagi saya tak setuju lah benda ni <coughs> sebab you memang lah ha, sekarang kalau you cakap oh, kerja kan kerja so I jadi modeling oh, apa, 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 apa. so I bagi I dia depends juga lah apa depends apa konteks yang you kalau you exploit orang ni then exploitation lah kalau dia guna untuk benda yang betul ya rasa tak ada masalah benda ni and biasa media macam tu lah dia memang nak jual saja dia tak ada apa dia tak ada dia tak ada kepentingan untuk orang tu dia hanya kepentingan untuk dia saja depends juga lah ada media yang kita boleh ada media yang kita boleh trust Ada media yang kita boleh trust Itu saya tak sure Kalau media, mass media yang patut bertanggungjawab Tapi bagi saya Ni fahaman Ni sepatutnya Jadi general knowledge Untuk orang semua yang Rakyat lah Civilized people lah punya Basic knowledge lah So kalau Media tunjuk gambar budak kecil yang orang tu rasa dia ni memikat hati itu sudah satu masalah hmm. untuk orang yang umur lebih tua daripada orang ni kan daripada gambar tu gambar macam yang cakap gambar kanak-kanak kan. so benda tu memang dari basic ah memang basic patut kita dah tahu yang it's a wrong thing for all people to like her untuk hmm. suka kanak-kanak hmm. so, satu masalah ha, itu in general pun macam oh, ni okay. masalah so, saya tak rasa ini tanggungjawab media tapi ini tanggungjawab education lah hmm. ha, okay. education penting lah untuk mengeneralkan knowledge supaya orang faham yang ni apa Pedophile ni apa, term ni apa sebenarnya dia hmm. ha, Sebab orang ramai tak tahu yang Wah aku suka perempuan <laughs> Budak kecil <laughs> Horror gila oh. <laughs> Tidak setuju <laughs> Batas keras-kerasnya Tak setuju lah Sebab <coughs> Dia macam mana? Uh, sebab kanak-kanak kan Kanak-kanak dia dia tak perlu perlindungan untuk kahwin 
Ha. Dia dia perlukan perlindungan daripada orang yang dia kenal. Ha. Family, relatif, mak bapak. So kalau menteri tu cakap oh ni untuk kau uh, meluluskan perkahwinan a uh, bawah umur 18 ni uh, patut tapi sebenarnya tak patut sebab dia akan dapat perlindungan daripada keluarga dia orang bukannya daripada orang yang dia tak kenal and then uh, fix marriage so dia dari situ dia dah kehilangan childhood dia so saya rasa kalau Uh, apa you cakap? MB uh, apa? Uh, Wakil rakyat Wakil rakyat uh. tu cadangkan benda ni Saya rasa Ni satu masalah Ni satu masalah yang besar Lagi satu je wakil rakyat uh. For me it's just like a pose Posing Posing okay. Ya yeah, visual Secara visual Dia yeah, ada bukan Uh, secara natural benda tu ada di di belakang tabir dia ada yang mengarahkan ada yang dah dah siapkan uh, pakaian yang macam mana untuk situasi yang macam mana dia hanya adalah pose hmm. untuk saya objectification ni sebenarnya dia bukan terbatas pada perempuan dia dia pada lelaki pada transsexual semua, semua setiap manusia akan diobjektifai kan Macam mana bentuk Sebab kecantikan ni sosial konstrak I, I percaya tu Kecantikan adalah sosial konstrak hmm, Yang mana setiap peradaban, setiap zaman Ada bentuk-bentuk kecantikan dia yang tersendiri Di China, purba lain, di Afrika lain Tapi zaman moden ni kita Bentukkan kecantikan tu sebagai satu bentuk yang slim, kurus, tinggi, lampai Dan sama ada persoalan dia lah Persoalan dia sama ada objectification ni Bentuk-bentuk kecantikan yang kita bersetujui secara bersama ni Membawa kita ke arah Kita cuba mencipta karya Untuk karya spesies manusia Atau Dia ada tujuan-tujuan tertentu Untuk marketing untuk ya yeah. modeling pon <laughs> satu industri besar orang tengah ni ha okey ha industri dia dia, dia sangat uh, sama ada dia digunakan untuk apa tadi digunakan untuk commercialization ha uh, commercialization atau kita nak cuba cipta karya spesies manusia untuk zaman ni zaman model itu macam budaya grooming kan Daripada kecil uh, Macam Dia buatkan Kanak-kanak tu Dewasa dengan lebih cepat Satu lagi Dan uh, Sebab uh, Kanak-kanak punya Ruang eksplorasi dan Ekspresi dia semua dah Dikawal oleh uh, Orang dewasa Jadi dia punya Secara basic dia dia akan fikir uh, mereka nanti akan besar mereka akan uh, tiba masa dia nanti dia akan macam ni macam ni padahal um, childhood memories is very important development untuk dalam uh, pembesaran tapi sebab bila dia dah di dicepatkan so dia akan skip dia punya childhood memory dan itu akan bagi ada masalah-masalah dalaman yang lain lah. hmm. Yang matang sebelum usia Saya hmm, uh, yeah, nampak uh, macam mana kita groom Budak-budak, kanak-kanak uh, Benda ni Mungkin benda ni dari satu sisi Kita cuba konstrak kanak-kanak Untuk hmm. lebih cepat fit in dengan society Dan dari daripada satu sisi pula kita boleh nampak dia sebagai satu bentuk yang natural Yang mana Kanak-kanak akan sentiasa imitate Perlakuan orang dewasa Sebab Setiap kanak-kanak ada keinginan untuk mendewasa Dia membayangkan pendewasaan itu satu benda yang Teruja Ter excited untuk membesar Tapi problem dia Ke mana arah yang 
hmm. ke mana arah je sama, sama ada yalah tak baik lelaki atau baik perempuan kanak-kanak lelaki dia dah start umur 9 10 tahun dah start dengan pomel dah start dengan gaya-gaya masculinity dah start dengan certain fashion semua well, sama ada kita yalah kita cuba kita mendewasakan kanak-kanak tu dalam bentuk yang positif atau sekadar sebahagian daripada consumer yang consume lifestyle yang terus consume tanpa mencipta Cảm lên ngồi lắm tại cái vấn đề là hay quá lấy tìm những hôn tòi đi đi cảm kể tự trạng đó cảm kể sợ ô có đó đi đi ảnh mày quá đi mê về tập bị kể nhưng mà mùi cơ dẫn tố dẫu cho có sinh nhục hay đồ cho có concept hay about sex kể cũng vậy nhưng mà chỉ xíu lấy tố mùi dẫu quân sư đi đi cảm kể chỉ xuân kể sinh sinh nhờ nhẹ kể sợ hãy dẫn dẫn cái cái dẫn nơi đó hay yếu sinh hay hữu tình sản yếu yếu cái sinh nhục mòn hữu tình sản kể sở yếm mùi hoa tập bít yếu đi mê yé hôn tội hơi đi lắm sex uh, I think um, when we talk about sex especially in uh, sex work uh, sex work is actually the oldest profession in the world and um, is not appreciated as a celebration of a woman's sexuality for me because um, before this people look at prostitution uh, and sex work as something that is humiliating and demeaning to them but recently uh, more and more people are more empowered and celebrated and I feel like um, it's just a tool of patriarchy to tell people that hey you're doing this because you are morally corrupt person or um, that kind of thing that stops women from doing and celebrate their own body autonomy but of course um, I acknowledge that exploitation always happens in the society this is also due to patriarchy because uh, it's not just about sex being told it's about seeing women as an object rather than a human so this as a that largely um, contribute to exploitation of human body not just woman body but children body and men of uh, lack of privilege as well yeah. uh, I feel like uh, I feel like as a policy maker uh, first of all is to acknowledge the power that I have um, as a person that is appointed basically by a group of people who agree on you uh, you have to see the larger perspective of it rather than seeing opportunities of um, hiding the truth from people so if I were a policy maker I would see the best interest of where I'm coming from this is not just because of who I am but the people that is going to be affected by law so for example a person that has been a prime minister in 1980s and then you're gonna have children and grandchildren in 2019 um, that is affected by your decision in 1990s uh, you are condemned you are responsible for the chaos that you created in 1990s so in 2019 we are the one who and we are your children, we are your grand uh, children that is affected by the law so I'm thinking as a, as a policy maker in the long run um, my family is the one that is going to be affected by my decision every man in this room has turned to porn at some point in time. Stupidest shit that a man can do. Here's why I say it's stupid. We don't give people that do porn enough credit and enough respect. Those people are professional actors and actresses. That's what they do for a living. You can't just watch that shit and go home and try it. It don't work like that. That's like watching a karate movie, going outside, getting in a fight, telling everybody to back up so you can roundhouse kick this nigga in the head. You don't know how to do that kick. It's the same thing with porn. 
I'm not speaking to you from a hypothetical place. I've been there. I've done it. I've tried it. I watched porn with my wife. Tried to do the shit that I saw. I was nervous about it. So I was having a conversation with myself. Should I do it? Should I fucking do it? Should I try it? I had good Kevin on this side, bad Kevin was on this side. Good Kevin popped up. Good Kevin had on a pair of khakis and a V-neck sweater. He said, absolutely not, don't do it. As a good woman, you talk to her first. Bad Kevin popped up. Bad Kevin had on a pair of leather pants and a fishnet tank top, and he was doing this. Bad Kevin. Okay, uh, recently I watched this documentary about uh, pornography on Netflix. So I talk about how young girls um, are uh, trained and being involved in sex work. So they start becoming uh, porn actors and all that. I feel like part of it is reclaiming sexuality. Part of it is also because of capitalism. When there is demand, there is supply kind of thing. For people so when there's demand of pornography then there will always be that uh, so uh, but for me why i have mixed feelings about pornography is because it is used for the consumption of uh, patriarchy patriarchal person which is men who are interested in women's body and kind of like so take for example uh, people who uh, demean or dislike the, the LGBT community but watch lesbian porn because you fetishize women who have sex with women. So I find that uh, pornography is only a material use for people to jerk off kind of thing or as a visualization rather than um, as art rather than um, uh, I found like along the years there are people who are exploring more on the storyline of a pornography or invest really invest in the right right up so really focus on the aesthetic of pornography and like celebrate what pornography is like and like I say it lacks of um, focus on uh, individual sexuality so it had to be either with other person or like threesome or the likes but people don't pay attention to like when you are alone and just exploring yourself so pornography is just merely a medium to for people to express themselves and it is used to feed what people want secara peribadi saya tak ada masalah dengan pornografi tapi dengan izin and memandang kayak pornografi ni ada industri uh, so agak lah nak, 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 nak kritik because I rasa ada banyak ketidakadilan dalam industri pornografi juga uh, tapi kalau pon, uh, industri pornografi santai-santai ni pun ada isu-isu yang kita kena tackle seperti um, pornografi tanpa izin uh, ataupun uh, penggunaan pornografi sebagai balas dendam, mengajar balas dendam ya. bagi tahu saya, saya rasa pornografi ni mungkin sebahagian daripada kesenian untuk meraihkan perbuatan seks ataupun tindak aksi seks itu uh, well, I think my line of thought will be uh, not so different from my previous uh, opinion, I think. Um, first, there's no one aspect or one dimension of pornography, like every other issue. Lah. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a product for consumption. And then if the person who uh, made the product, uh, you know, if it's legal in some countries and you follow the law, you follow... Uh, the ethics of it, because I do believe there's ethics in the industry, then it's fine. You know, if the performers consent to it and if safe sex is guaranteed. Uh, and then if you know where uh, the product gets sold uh, and uh, who's consuming it, and if it's their fair trade practices, then I, yeah, yeah, then I think um, that is that is fine. Uh, however, I, you know, if there's exploitation and uh, elements of trafficking, uh, yeah, then it becomes something that is illegal and morally wrong. Uh, already lah. Yeah, and then uh, just sharing in Europe, I think there is uh, something called uh, um, uh, ethical porn, which I think is something that you know that is that uh, that people are getting more and more aware of. Yeah, uh, it gives you options and alternatives. It doesn't have to be so taboo because I think it is a known fact that a lot of people, wherever they are, conservative or not, they consume porn. So I think it's um, to 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 put it out there to know 
(um) what are available and their ethical options I think that it will be (uh) wiser (uh) compared to just (uh) putting it under the rug and (uh) not having regulation or ethical concerns about it [lah]
it's interrelated with this the first question that you asked for me that this thing also in our everyday life in the pornography also things that we need to change uh, like why slowly educate the the audience the society itself that it's supposed to be something that mutual agreement equal no matter what kind of social orientation as long as there's, there's there's thing happening which is mutual agreement which is understanding and equality Ma. Saya ada dua thought tentang pornografi. Satu sisi satu satu sisi pornografi adalah satu medium untuk kita as a human untuk kenal teroka. Kita punya sexual desire, fetish, macam mana kita nak celebrate human reproduction. Tapi lagi dari satu sisi kita nampak pornografi punya industri adalah Industri, antara industri yang terbesar di dunia dan masyarakat dunia bermasalah ketagihan porno sampai dia orang punya produktiviti hilang 5 6 jam satu hari yang ni gila so kita jadi tak produktif dan lepas habis tengok porn pun kita dirundum dengan satu rasa bersalah bukan satu rasa kepuasan macam kita tengok filem kita bincangkan pasal sinematografi kita bincangkan pasal lakonan seni solekan dan hmm. semua tu so so tapi untuk kedua-dua sisi ini sama ada pornografi sebagai medium kita meneroka kemahuan kita keinginan kita dengan Sebagai satu medium penjajahan Daripada mass media tu sendiri I rasa untuk sekarang ni Dia lebih berat pada penjajahan hmm. Daripada exploration uh, Pornografi ni uh, Dari sudut foto ataupun video Sama macam saya cakap tadi Macam dia palsu Istilah ke just posing hmm. Dan dia lebih kepada perlakuan Perlakuan so estetika kepada body punya ni dah mungkin cuma untuk yang type-type tertentu yang dia yang mana yang dia nak tunjukkan so dia tak ada uh, celebrate apa the erotism ataupun uh, dalam bentuk lebih kepada dalam bentuk seni tapi kepada uh, pelakon seks就是怎樣看這些色情內容有什麼看法我覺得色情內容其實就算有很多不同國家的色情內容就是不同國家有不同的文化我覺得例如日本、日本的pornography 一個是比較是很對這個sex是充滿熱誠因為他們拍一套的AV是用大概可能一日時間或者兩日時間去完成它的他們是好像拍戲拍movie這樣拍的AV所以我覺得色情內容其實不是說有教育性另外可以被人們刺激到他們的性慾望等等的所以我覺得色情內容不是說一些negative的東西其實是positive的pornography是positive的 就我個人為例我在香港當我在香港被選一個議員也好或者立法會議員也好我要表態我點會提這件事那種態度是否我會按我的信仰給我的看法特別譬如夫妻制度是否有心分錢性行為這件事甚至乎同性戀這件事
咁都係我我而家我因為我信咗一個基督，我信咗基督教，我會用誒呢個我嘅信仰嚟到去喚醒其他人啊。咁你話未必改變到個制度嘅，或者有其他人同你有唔同嘅聲音嘅，咁自由社會大家又唔同聲音，咁啊少數服從多數啦。咁我又唔會反對你，唔係我唔會話即係誒判你有罪，因為法律先至係。當時你嗰個國家或者你嘅社區定你啦，咁你喺有啲國家可能你你通奸可能俾人用石頭掟死添，唔香港通奸好簡單嘅啫，可能就即係罰錢啊或者坐監啊。咁但我相信我嘅宗教會係有審判的，你自己做咗嘅嘢，如果唔係按真理唔係按聖經去行事嘅話咧，你自己應得你自己當見。審判嗰日嘅時候，你會得到你自己嘅懲罰。我又唔覺得好重要，因為我自己個年代啊，係冇誒性教育呢回事嘅，咁都係一個人嘅 human 即係需求，反而會含蓄啲、保守啲，冇咁放任，即知道有條底線。你唔會知道做啲誒防禦措施啊，我可以試下成咁誒。不過我覺得誒誒要學識教自己嘅子女啊，或者側邊嘅小朋友去保護自己咯。咁反而我覺得用保護嘅角度去去去行，即係佢會教導佢哋，即係唔係話啊誒、呃、性教育，除咗係誒保護之外，仲係一啲點可以做防禦啊，子子女嗰個大前提，反而。我哋點去？特別你講到性教育，可能從佢哋少少年嘅人，我我覺得我而家有轉變，開始教男女嗰種分別。但我哋年代冇冇冇太大去了解性器官啊，即係好 biology 咁講嘅。但今時今日可能就好 bi， 當係一個 biology 嚟咁講。啊，男女嘅結合咁啊，有有有有生兒育女啊。咁我覺得係咪需要咁早呢？我覺得唔需要咁早。咁啊，一個國家，咁香港都行得好早，好好好，好細個已經教啲小朋友。我覺得唔認同嘅，因為因為其實誒，本人都有睇過下嘅。啊<笑><笑>，咁但係就即係、就是、你出多咁多片呢，咁其實我我唔知人啊，咁我我我我我就我議論啦。咁其實你睇啲片呢，睇得多呢，對自己呢都唔係咁好嘅，即、就、係、是、影響咗你自己個。即係你係有慾望嘅，但係你你係咪去去同你嘅伴侶去一齊有慾望呢？咁又未必喎。即係我覺得係你可能可能反反而你覺得你睇咗個片，哇！你嘅理想就喺嗰度啦。但係你個伴侶可唔可以做到你你嘅理想呢？就可能係另一回事。咁當反反而可能會令到你會有醒懶感，會會令到你唔想去做，或者去哦草草了事，未未必可以力成，即係令能能夠。新即係去到佢，即係日本政府所講嗰個效果，去估嗰個人口，就應該就唔得。我覺得睇得多仲可能更加差，可能即係你你你人始終都有個限度噶嘛。嗯、你如果日日去睇，咁你咪冇曬精力對你嘅伴侶咯。嗯、但係即係同埋你你個幻想，你望望得你拍得嗰啲片嘅，都係你想要嘅嘢啦。你睇得即係你你有你有選擇權係噶嘛？你有你選擇。大嘅，你選擇幼嘅、老嫩嘅，你中意嘅，你就喺喺啲選擇裏面選擇咗啦。但係你隔離嗰個只有一位，係啦。咁你到到時你你唔係你要求嗰啲，或者你哦睇得多嗰啲嘅時候，你去嗰、那個嗰、那個能即係衝動嘅能對住佢嘅衝動可能冇咗，咁就可能更加差咯。嗯啊<laughs> Pornografi dia business, dia business dan benda ni dilakukan secara profesional. Orang, orang ada kontrak, orang ada agreement, orang ada consent. 
So, apa? Uh, uh, RGI Ni memang bisnes lah Apa-apa bisnes pun Orang akan cuba buat kan So, bagi mungkin uh, Untuk Asia Benda ni uh, sangat sensitif Tapi untuk Western ataupun European country Benda ni sangat normal Sebab orang tahu ha, ini, orang ada kontrak orang profesional orang akan buat uh, apa? Uh, Medical check up Sehat ke tak sehat ke Kalau ada masalah uh, Kelamin ke uh, so, And sub, Orang yang Langgan benda ni uh, Yang rasa diri dia tak boleh Content untuk uh, Apa untuk melepaskan hormon dia So benda ni perlulah untuk orang tu ha, Untuk seorang kan ha, Tapi satu hal juga Pornografi bila Sebab dia terlalu banyak Fantasy So fantasy dia pun boleh relate pada Macam tadi tanya pedophile ha, Dia pun boleh relate benda tu Tapi ha, Diorang sebabkan diorang buat secara Profesional, diorang akan ada filter Benda ni sebab and then Akses benda tu mungkin boleh jumpa dekat kalau you pakai apa Tor browser, Tor browser ni macam uh, uh, Google Tapi you boleh akses yang VPN lah Yes, VPN, dia boleh akses benda yang you takkan jumpa dekat Google uh, Tapi tu lah, dia, dia tricky uh, Tapi bagi saya, saya setuju lah untuk kalau ada industri pornografi tu tak ada masalah sebab benda ni keperluan kerja is kerja lah ha. as long you tak salah guna benda tu ya etika etika bekerja ha. dia akan terlibat lah dengan benda-benda yang exploitation ha. exploitation so it's penculikan human trafficking ah ha. human traffic ya yeah. human traffic tapi apa yang saya maksudkan ialah uh, Macam saya cakap tadi lah The first uh, is basic knowledge In general So you dah tahu basic ni So for the industry Whatever kind of fantasy they are trying to do They still refer to the basic uh, Sex knowledge lah Sex education mm. uh, So that's Uh, what make they uh, professional lah in this uh, business So okay. kalau fantasy orang uh, mengarut sangat Then the government have to filter lah Yang ni tak boleh So it have to be involved with the government lah Macam mana pun Sebab ada je access yang kita dekat Malaysia ni tak dapat Tapi dekat luar boleh dapat lah Oh, oh, macam tak ada tak? Hafa,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好,好好
You are not tidy. You are a dirty shrine. You're so right. My sex life is legendary in parts of Glasgow. Also, you are insolent, also. Wie viele sitzen im Bar? Im Moment äh, keine. Keine? Wir haben die alle ziemlich unter Kontrolle. Aber diesen wohl nicht. Sie! Marschieren Sie diesen Mann ab in den Bau? Come with me to the cooler, please. Wie heißen Sie? Corporal Weber, Herr Oberst. Dieser Mann ist unverschämt. Sagen Sie nicht, please. Seien Sie unfreundlich. Come on, move it, you homosexual Scottish bastard! Go! Education 由小到大灌輸他們的思想正確的思想就之後就不會發生很多很多之後的性暴力強姦那些 其實我們不可以以我們的人士的Generation 當然不是當然我也好像合派之前 我是由小孩子的sex 又不懂被人又不懂被人 <笑> 一個open-minded去教你說我會是based on 有feeling的人跟你一樣,大家願意去 
你國家個 law 係話你 under 十六歲誒、呃、去同人誒同誒 to have a sex with with other person， 你係你係犯法嘅，咁你唔可以做，係啊。咁如果誒、呃、你夠十八歲，你知道係咩事？咁即係要 safe sex， 我會教佢哋 safe sex。even 我嗰啲誒契仔啊，或者誒、呃、我識朋友嗰啲嗰啲仔女，夠十八歲，我就有 gift 就係 condom 咯。嗯。就會講俾佢聽，唔好唔好話，即係避開依樣嘢咯。嗯。即係誒、呃、有多好似我嘅 age 嗰啲人都係話避開，唔好哎呀唔好講依啲，唔好講依啲，其實令到啲。令到啲誒 new generation 佢哋唔知點樣，你阿爸阿媽都唔教佢哋點樣，所以可以誒、呃、extend 咗好多誒、呃、social problem 出嚟，係、嗯、啊，即係好似我正如所講，未婚生子啊，未婚媽媽啊，然後就誒誒、呃呃、強姦啊，或者佢哋唔識點樣去應付應付依樣嘢，即係我我覺得如果我係個老師，我會教佢哋誒。呃 set 係好嘅，不過要成年、嗯，你要知道你自己做緊啲咩嘢，係啊，係啊。human beings, citizens, or whatever of the future, like, you really need to cover a lot of things that, although you might be faced with certain fears or discomfort, um, you should still go through those questions and take them on. It's much better than not having those sorts of discussions. If you're talking about education in Malaysia, it doesn't exist. Um, at best, you cover it in terms of biology and science, and but that's just human bodily functions. It doesn't cover everything else. Like the whole idea about sex education stems even to the extent of、um, a woman's bodily functions. If, say, for example, if I I knew what normal period or what's considered as a normal period is like, I wouldn't have suffered that many years and. Pain because what I have isn't considered normal. Or、um, having people take proper preventative、um, precautions,、um, protection, and everything against STDs instead of listening to, I suppose, their friends or the internet about thing information that's incorrect. Yeah, there, there's so much misinformation everywhere, and how are you supposed to know? <laughs> like it, it just would be a lot better.、Yeah. Ikut aja lah. Kalau tak ikut, kena ni emak. Takut tak ikut nanti kan kena marah, mak bapaknya ke, apa ke, jadi apa? Kalin, jadi anak dari tua dulu kat aku jawab dulu, cerita aku kat aku pun masa masakan mak dan bapa tanya ini dia ini. Mak tu kan masa kau masa waktu kahwin kan nak lahirkan pun susah kan. Kalau umur kecil kan ada lahirkan anak berapa hari mak tu? Masa tiga hari baru lahir. Berapa hari mak tu? Keluar aja bagi itu mak tu pun tak sadar. Orang tu dah nangis dengan si mak tu mati. Sebab kan nak anak yang ini kan mak tu eh sebab bud bila nak lahir kan belum cukup umurnya tulang apa yang tak kuat tak pandai jadi apa. Tapi tu kalau jaga anak macam mana betul? Jaga anak kadang tu bawa tak tahu aja dengan anak. Bapaknya, bapaknya dah tu, dia dah dah umur dah, bapaknya. Mak, bap, mak ada dia tu. Mak 
mandi semua pun nak mandi tak pandai. Tak pandai. Tapi umur 14. Di bawah umur 14 kena kahwin. Kau so, jadi bayi. Ini bayi 3 bulan. Pandai mandi tak ada tak pandai. Ini kecil lagi. Kalau main anak patung boleh lah. <laughs> kan main? Hmm. Ya. Ni mak tak pandai nak mandikan tu. Umurnya 14. Tapi kawan-kawan mak tu pun kahwin umur macam ni tu. Ada juga. Tapi naik sikit lah umurnya. Tak macam mak tu ni muda sangat. Budak sangat. Dengan suami pun tak ada rasa kasih sayang. Tak faham ke pun tak ada tu? Ya kan? Tak ada lagi. Cinta-cinta waktu tu Umur-umur Umur masih kanak-kanak Rasa macam nak main-main lagi Dengan kawan-kawan semua Tapi dah kena ada anak Tak tahu macam mana nak jaga Anak hmm. Tak pandai Awalnya penuh kat Rahman tu Dia tinggal macam lah anak tu Main lah pergi ha, Main, main tonjen, garak Betul-betul Anak macam Lawak ha? Habis tu Ada mak tu sekarang ada. Maksudnya tak kalau mak tu setuju ke? Hmm. Tak nak mawin dengan anak kecil. Dia ada dekat dengan orang jahat anak dari dulu pun tak apa dah. <laughs> Dia dah faham. Ada mak tu sekarang mak tu. Ada, ada lagi. Masih ada lagi kawin dengan anak kecil-kecil. Habis saja. Kalau yang dipaksa ke di kandak dia. Kandak ya. budaknya tu. Kawin mak bapak yang kawinkan hmm. budak kecil kalau umur macam gini man, mana tahu nak kawin gitu. Ya berkawan masih berkawan. Bermain. Tapi yang selalu yang jadi mangsa kan yang kawin umur kecil kan perempuan. Ha. Kawin kan dah yang tu lebih. Dia ni macam budak lagi. Macam benci ni kau suami tu. Kau pergi pergi lah tak balik pun tak apa. Macam ni tu tu bukannya. Bukannya tunggu ke apa ke. Nak saji-sajikan makanan semua tak ada. Tapi dia masak. Masak pandang. Dia masak-masak. Ceduk-ceduk taruh lah kat dulang. Tutup tudung haji dulu mana ada meja tak ada Tutup tudung haji ya. Tutup Ini nanti kalau bapak hmm. Mak tak makan Bapak dah balik kerja Mak tak makan Bubur sama Tiga tak kisah nak ambilkan Biar suami tak Nanti mak lah yang ambilkan Kalau kat dulang simpan Tutup nanti orang yang balik Habis tu mak tok siapa yang ajar-ajar tu macam mak ni kalau dah kahwin kena macam ni, kena macam gini Tak ada Tak ada? Sendiri lah tu Lagi-lagi ada anak Ada lagi mak tok, kita belah semua tempat ada lagi mak tok Dia orang kahwinkan anak kecil-kecil Macam balas budi ke apa ke Kawinkan Tapi sana sekarang dah tak ada ha? Kat kampung Kat kampung Pak Mak ni Dah tak ada orang kahwin muda Semua kahwin tua Anak dara tua boleh dikatakan anak dara tua ya, dah, Tapi tak ada orang kata lah anak dara tua Dua puluh lebih semua Tak ada yang kahwin belas-belas tak ada Dua puluh Dua, dua puluh tiga, dua puluh lima Yang ada sampai tiga puluh Yang ada sama bayar suami seri tu Saya pun ada kawan raya mak tu Habis dah jam enam je bapak dia kahwin Iya Tak sekolah lagi sambung Padahal Darjah belajarnya enam. bagus Dari jam enam tu Umur dua belas hmm. Ada je mm -mm. Dulu pun ada dua belas Sepuluh, sembilan pun ada Uh. Kecilnya Ke mana tu Ya main-main aja 
tinggal di Sukadar keluar main dengan kawan yang kak laman bandongan dia keluar nanti kalau suaminya jangan ada lah suaminya kalau macam tak tahan dengan isterinya macam tu kan muda sangat dia kahwin lagi kahwin lain bini dua Oh, ah, bini duanya tapi tua. <laughs> bini nombor satu budak lagi. Budaknya tak kisah. Kau kahwin kahwin lah. Kau lagi senang. Dia kata gitu. Yelah, kau dah kecil. Hmm. Dia nak main. Wah, dulu ramai lah orang kahwin. Budak muda. Masa zaman matuk tu ya? Uh-uh. Dia sampai tua, yang ada budak sangat Macam mak ni lah Yelah tapi budak lagi Dikahwinkan Bertunang dah lama Bertunang Bertunangnya yang lama Bertunangnya yang lama Lelaki tu nak, nak tunggu hmm. Kakaknya buat tu cantik Agaknya takut dia ambil orang Agaknya tu nak ikan Kali dah kahwin Mula-mulanya tu baik Dah, dah pindah buat berumah tangga sendiri Pergi jauh? Macam mana agaknya Yelah budak Nanti ada orang muda Yelah sama-sama muda ya berbual Bercerita gitu. Lama-lama lakinya cemburu Dah cemburu tu macam mana agaknya Lama-lama Dia nak balik lah Sebab maknya Budak tu Pasal dia nak pergi kerja ke apa, nanti ada orang datang ke rumahnya Dia macam tu Dia katakan Lama-lama Masuk angin Kakaknya Wak ni Sakit Terus Mogok tak ada Terus tak ada dengan suami tu Wah Tahan nak dibunuh pun dia ikut aja Bunuh-bunuh lah Saya memang tak ada Dan saya mati tak dengan itu aman Jadi pisah lah Lama-lama-lama Dia tak nak ikut Cerai Cerai Janda Jadi janda muda lah Janda berlias Umur berapa dah jadi janda Ini Tak mesti belas lagi Mak belum kahwin lagi Tua dia dengan mak Tapi dia uh, dia cepat sangat Habis Dah tu macam cerik lah mak bapak ni Aku lain kali biarlah anak aku Sampai anak dara lewat pun tak aku Ada orang minang pun aku pakai tolak aja Aku pun betul Ada orang minang tolak, minang tolak Kakaknya buat tu juga lah Eh, kakak ke adik? Yelah adik pada yang dah meninggal tu Ha, dah meninggal memang ni di kawin lain ada anak berapa agaknya anaknya ramai juga lah uh, meninggal lepas tu adiknya pun gitu kawin 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 mogok tak mau tak imam tapi tak ada anak ya mak kalau tak kecil ada, lagi ada kan ben dia tak ada macam mana nak ada anak dia hmm. dia tak faham Lakinya datang dia sembunyi, lakinya datang dia sembunyi Tak nak, tak nak betul Melamanya cerai ha, Kalau adiknya tu Dia banyak anaknya ramai, saun satu, saun satu Tiap-tiap tahun beranak Tiap-tiap tahun beranak Hari lahir anak yang pertama ha, Tarikh itulah, tapi lain tahun ni. Lain tahun. Sama. Beranak. Ha, beranak lagi satu. Tahun akan beranak lagi satu. Dapat. Semua adiknya buat tu, kahwinnya. Semua cepat-cepat. Satu orang tu laris. <laughs> laris. Eh, hey, pantang anaknya. Tinggi sikit Pantang Bukan aja. tengok umur, tengok tinggi 
Tengok besar, dah besar. Ah, ha, besar. Yelah umurnya dah naik sikit aja ha. Ada lah orang datang. Umur naik sikit aja lebih aja 12 tahun ha. ada orang datang. Tak ada dating dating. Tak ada dating dating. Sekali yang kelian sampai tua anak jadi anak dara tua tak kahwin. Siapa ada dating dating dia orang pula sah. Ha? Tangkap. Terus kahwin kan dia tak ada dating. Orang tak suka pun tak suka. Macam mau lah pergi jalan kasih orang kampung tengok tu. Bina tu berdating Nanti ha. apa dah tu Bawa pergi mana-mana Haa 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 Itu dah Itu dah sifat Bagus ni Itulah Be Human punya Behavior Ada macam-macam Jenis Manusia Orang yang dah Maka polis tu Orang macam tu Yang dah polis tu Maki-maki orang Bukan dia sebab tu kalau tak boleh nak ukur orang tu punya mind dia Melalui dia nak college ke Ada yang tak masuk college lebih, lebih bagus pemikiran dia Tak sekolah lah dia boleh fikir Ada yang sekolah, ada yang jadi doktor pun masih rendah Dia tak ikut macam macam orang punya level of thinking dia Dia tak ada limitation Dia tak ada level yang boleh oh masuk college pasti dia pandai tak pakcik dia orang pakcik dia orang ayuh orang dia dia taruh kat tu dia cakap 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 uh, okay. But I do, well I cannot say uh, so much about the current state because uh, because I'm not sure what goes on in schools but I do know in, in private international schools they do provide sex education and then I'm not sure about government schools um, but when I was about 10 I was in school about 15 years ago. There was zero talk about uh, oh yeah, about it. But then people know that um, there are teenagers who are having sex. There are teenagers there. So I think being aware of your um, sexual and reproductive rights, it's not just merely a supposedly freedom of expression issue. It's not just a sex issue. It's also a health and safety issue. It can also be a criminal issue if somebody breaches the law. Uh, so I think we can talk about it in a reasonable, rational manner just to equip uh, the children and the teenagers of what may happen when they grow older. Better to um, equip them with knowledge rather than them going out there on their own, not knowing what's right and what's wrong. Sex education, yeah. And I think the first, um, the first time sex education was mentioned in Malaysia was in 2000. Um, there was an article on Tusan, Tusan Malaysia, Tusan, Tusan is no longer around. Um, but there was an article on, in 2000 about um, the thoughts of implementing sex education in Malaysia. That was 19 years ago, uh, and um, I feel like uh, it has been a long way to go and people have been advocating for it. And the only question is, what is a suitable sex education syllabus? Uh, so for take for example in the US, um, every state or every school have the different syllabus of sex education. It depends on what kind of school they are. Um, how, how conservative is that certain region about sex education so but they still have it they still implement sex education the very basis of it is knowing how your body functions and that for me in Malaysia still lack of it so when we brought up so when so for example uh, in most sex brought up the need of sex education in Malaysia we well, often people thought, told us that oh you we already have it, so it's a mix of what we study in biology, it's a mix of what we study in 
pendidikan, jasmani dan kesihatan, what else do we have? Science. Um, but it doesn't help people to understand how people procreate or how people have sex. How you insert penis to the vagina, how you have um, anal sex, or how you have um, different sex, different different type of sex. Yeah, so it doesn't help because um, so that repress a society and then that kind of pro- uh, give up to a lot of other issues like unplanned pregnancies, baby dumping and all that. So in Malaysia, I think it's still a struggle to talk about sex education um, because uh, first, uh, people still don't understand why we need it. People think that, that uh, in the syllabus there is already enough information to tell children how the body works and parents has not been responsible to their children as I see um, children rights in Malaysia is so far away from being protected this is due to a lot of story about children being raped, children being um, exploited and all that and we still haven't we haven't like been stuffed from this like every story every day another story about children being molested babies who are not even one year old having to have this kind of um, thing and we still don't understand why the importance of sex education because parents themselves are not ready to take care of children parents themselves don't know how to communicate with their children about sex so because it come from them as well who are not ready to talk about sex or they don't like openly talk about sex with their partner they also contribute to their children as well yeah so for me empowering people and empowering yourself will help more younger generation to be able to express themselves so if we don't have sex education parents need to step up to tell the children that where or how to combat um, harassment and the loss. Benda per- perlu lah. Benda sex education ni perlu. Memang perlu dari... Sebab ini sains juga. Ini penglibatan sains kan. Human body, anatomi manusia. Manusia reproduction apa semua. Dan apa apa reaction otak kita bila hormon kita keluar sebab so, benda ni dia ada apa orang cakap bukan testimoni dia ada research dia lah dia ada research buat benda ni dan ben- mungkin tidaklah seawal sekolah rendah ha, mungkin benda ni perlu bila secondary school or in college tapi still dari basic um, start dari awal so tak adalah bila you dah umur 30 25 something 40 whatever and then you baru fikir nak buat benda ni hmm. and then you sudah patut you sudah realize kan ni kenapa ini kenapa kenapa ada benda ni kenapa ada rumah merah hmm. kenapa walaupun business tu apa mafia ke gangster ke tapi Kenapa perlu ada But Nasib manusia tak sama Macam Ada orang tak akan dapat Partner Ada orang akan Bertukar-tukar partner So Untuk mengelak dia daripada Ada Red case Apa-apa yang tak tak elok Kes rogol kan So benda ni memang dah patut dari awal lagi seorang so, tahu having sex kena ada consent kena ada persetujuan bukan sesuka hati kita bagi ai uh, sama ya kita binatang je bagi ai tapi kita ada ada kesedaran sebagai manusia kita tanya orang apa khabar orang balas balik kita so benda tu uh, communication penting So yes, sex education memang sangat diperlukan supaya ramai orang faham and it should be like uh, general knowledge for all people. Dan 
dia bukan benda yang uh, kita kena ambil like macam terlalu sensitif sebab in the end kita akan experience benda tu uh, cuma on the way nak akan menghadap experience tu akan experience that uh, that love uh, kita kena faham apa apa tu sex apa tu consent apa tu robol orang tak ramai ramai orang tak tahu benda ni sebab dia rasa macam oh, sex boleh je apa Uh, ajak je orang ni apa ke It's like very kasar <laughs> Sangat kasar bagi dia Aku macam dah nampak aku Haa Sacrification Ramai cakap generasi muda sekarang Generasi yang baru ada access I mean semua dapat tahu Ada access untuk segala Tapi mereka I rasa kita masih kurang dari segi Uh, komunikasi untuk uh, keizinan konsen uh, izinan dan juga consequences uh, apa yang terjadi kalau buat uh, sebab seks kat pendidikan seks kat Malaysia ni selalu sangkut dengan halal haram hukum moral tapi kita tak pernah uh, belajar untuk menghormati diri untuk menghormati partner orang yang kita nak buat seks Uh, tapi saya rasa perbuat, uh, uh, bicara mengisak sangat masih terhad dan kita perlu uh, luaskan lagi uh, luas dan juga seperti yang sama yang apa yang cakap sebelum, sebelum tadi akses, semua kena akses melangkaui bahasa, melangkaui kawasan Tong 這個是正常的行為 其實很簡單的事情,我們可能為什麼我們現在會淪落到現在這樣的環境呢? 你的選舉有道理可以去將這個市民的心聲發揮給其他人聽 令到那個件事是政府聽聞耳朵的 
？有嘅，首先有嘅。我至少喺 secondary school 咧係有呢個 sex education 嘅一個教育啦。誒、呃，因為呢啲係一個從小要灌輸嘅一個觀念，可能係咩係 dick 啊，咩 pussy 啊等等，即係。一個人體嘅 body 入面嗰啲性器官啦，佢哋都會有教嘅。咁同埋嗰啲啲性行為啊等等，佢哋都會有教教育到嘅。因為呢啲呢樣嘢咧，係令到你將來啊或者係成長之後咧，就有幫助認識認識到呢啲性器官嘅。誒、呃，即係咯，有幫助咯。因為佢哋第時可能日後生兒育女，或者係你自己有啲有個我哋所謂嘅 G 點啦，即係女性可能有個 G 點啦，佢哋要刺激佢先可能會有高潮等等。咁呢啲咧都係其實係一個、呃、教育上認識多啲嘅話咧，咁可能即係我哋係從一個 positive 一個認識。一個教育嘅角度去睇啦，就唔會話好色情嘅角度去睇啦。咁就其實係有幫助咯。講就唔好緊要啦，即係誒、呃，其實對個個個社會誒同埋個醫療都好緊要，因為你好容易衍生，即係你唔用講就即係又係年青，唔好話年青人咧，你即係好容易會有有。有咗 B B B B 之前我講過，即係啲 B B 之後，哇有啲唔識點 handle， 咁有好多就有啲國家就有啲女人就殺死殺死個僆仔啊，咁樣唔知點面對，咁就算你個 single family 咁樣一個係你又要揾好多資源，好多資源政府好多資源去照顧依班人，即係依班 single family， 我又覺得我自可能我自己比較 traditional。即係我覺得係，如果你生下生細路咧，我覺得係成個完整嘅家庭會好啲咯。即係唔使令到個小朋友成長係好似缺少一樣嘢。好多社會問題就因為一個家庭出現嘅問題，誒令到我個小朋友成長係有偏差咯。就 even 係一個好 normal 嘅家庭都有嘅，不過 single family 我覺得係。個機會，我唔係有 bias， 個機會率係會大啲咯，對個小朋友成長。咁另外一個 issue 就係個 medical 嘅問題啦，因為你睇你唔戴 condom 好容易有性病啦，即係 sexual disease，AIDS 啊，咩梅毒啊，好多性病嗰啲。咁最後尾 suffer 就係我哋自己咯，咁交好多税咁樣，就用好多錢去即係醫療上去，即係去支誒去。去幫依班唔小心有性行為嘅人去去醫醫翻好佢哋，或者有啲病係醫唔好噶嘛，即係長期都係一個我哋變咗一個社會問題咯。即係因為如果即係好似 AIDS 咁樣用好多錢，好貴咁嗰啲藥，同埋好多性病係不停會復發復發噶嘛，所以 safe sex 好緊要咯。education， <笑>我諗係依家發生好多誒唔、呃、同，即係唔同國家，唔好話一啲好封閉嘅國家 ，close 嘅國家同個 open 嘅國家係個 education 係唔夠，個、嗯、sexual education 唔夠，即係好多人就係、是、就話啊，我我 open sex 係好 normal 一件事 ，bla bla， 其實佢冇諗過係兩個人嘅咯，係兩個人，即係我覺得 respectation 好緊要咯，即係。如果你真係想喺 sex 裏面係攞到一個真係好開心嘅，唔係你一個人開心，係兩個人先係將個嗰件事係令到大家都開心，係啊，個 enjoy 咯，即係大家都 enjoy 呢樣嘢，係啊。我諗係 education 同埋 respectation， 我諗係我哋係從細就教誒、呃、教我哋嘅人啦，我哋嘅。色列神又好嘅，人民又好，係點樣有 respectation 啦，同埋誒誒點點樣去尊重尊重對方，同、嗯、埋有啲嘢係要兩
。所以 sex 呢樣嘢係即係兩個人投入 enjoy 先係最開心噶嘛。係啦，唔好自私啦，唔好自私啦。We need more education and awareness about what is gender, what is sex, sexual orientation is two different things. You know, gender and sex is two different things. So I think this thing need to be really being talked about, uh, being teach, being shared. You know, personally or even you know by government in the school, in, you know, we should do it. Uh, for me, that's the first thing. So we can see that sex is not a narrow thing; it's on a broad thing. You know. It's a spectrum. Uh, Yang paling penting uh, sebab bila kanak-kanak dalam psikologi kanak-kanak psikologi remaja uh, perkara pertama yang kanak-kanak pelajari se so body part macam mana cara dia kenal body part dan dia start exploring dan mereka belum belum ada lagi naluri seks sebelum mereka matang so bila dia kenal dia pun dia eksplorasi body part atau kenal body part dia supaya yang mana private part yang mana dia tak boleh sentuh orang lain punya orang lain tak boleh sentuh dia punya apabila ada berlaku sesuatu yang 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 tak sepatutnya berlaku dia kena tahu yang mana dia boleh uh, ada body contact atau tak ada body contact sebab uh, banyak yang jadi mangsa-mangsa mangsa-mangsa salah laku seks ni daripada kanak-kanak yang dia tak tahu padahal itu adalah uh, salah laku seks dia kena molest dia tak, dia, dia tak sedar bila dia dah dewasa baru dia counter balik oh dia sebenarnya adalah mangsa salah laku seks waktu dia kanak-kanak dan benda ni dia tak dapat dan tak tak, tak dapat dikesan dari awal dan lepas tu Salah laku seks ni bukan berlaku jauh pun Kadang-kadang di kalangan keluarga sendiri Dengan cousin, dengan uncle ha, Contohnya macam tu So jadi uh, benda tu Rasa ni pas sepatutnya family lebih terbuka lah untuk bincangkan Sebab dia lebih sebelum dia pergi kepada pendidikan yang lebih besar Pendidikan seks dalam keluarga dulu lebih penting So, saya sex education ni ya lah, sama lah Tersangat-sangat penting Ilmu yang tersangat-sangat penting Pertama sekali Sex education ni Kita Cuba men, uh, Menstrukturkan Macam mana kita nak mempelajari tentang Naluri Semula jadi Kemanusiaan Dan Lepas tu Macam mana kita Nak behave Dengan naluri Macam mana kita nak deal dengan naluri ni dan selepas itu macam mana kita nak bertanggungjawab atas kita punya behavior. Hmm. So itu kepentingan sex education. First kita kenal naluri, kedua macam mana kita nak deal dengan naluri, ketiga macam mana kita nak be responsible with our behavior. Hello, hello. Kalau berdasarkan kalau sex education is if dia di, di bawah pendidikan Maksudnya bila saya mula dengan primary school, secondary school, high school, tak ada. Hmm. Saya rasa bila, jelah bila statistik bagi tahu lebih lebih daripada 70% populasi dunia ada masalah ketagihan pornografi. So dekat situ kita boleh nampak sebenarnya kita punya sex education bukan setakat kat Malaysia tapi Air rasa satu secara dunia global. Kita, secara globalnya hmm. kita belum betul betul educate tentang seks secara efektif. Hmm. Sebab air rasa kalau seks education bukan sekadar kita macam mana kita deal dengan orang, macam mana kita respect orang, tapi macam mana kita mengenal diri kita, macam mana kita deal dengan naluri naluri yang ada dekat dalam diri kita. So seks education uh, adalah sebahagian daripada Uh, bahagian yang penting untuk kita mengenal diri. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think we have a proper 
sex education in our school or university yet in Malaysia, if I'm not mistaken. And for my personal view, I totally support this thing, I mean, sexual education. We should have this subject in the school. I believe as early as 10 years old, at least, because we can say generally, man or woman, we, we hit our puberty around this age, right? So it's already a suitable time for us to start to understand more about our body, ourselves, our se sexual part, and everything. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It is so bad. I feel like almost every single school that I've heard of from my friends or from which school that I went to, because I went to an all-girls school, they would teach us not to have sex. They would teach us abstinence. They would not teach us that, okay, what happens if you have sex and and what's going to happen to you and your body. They don't teach that you. They don't teach you that in school. But overseas, especially Norway or like European countries, they would teach sex education to you at a very young age. So they, so you will you will you'll be informed on how your body is going to be when you're doing certain acts with certain partners. Mm -hmm. And in Malaysia, it's such a taboo thing because not only that is affecting your culture and your religion, and also some people, they find it shameful. Certain families, they'll find it shameful for you to be exposed to certain things. But actually, how do you get here in the first place? Your parents did it, and then nine months later, you were born. So I don't get it why people are so embarrassed or being so shy talking about all these things. Okay, like, some people I totally understand that they feel like, you know, they don't want to talk about it and all that. But sex is a very natural thing. It's just that some people, they don't, they don't see that because they find it embarrassing because their parents taught them to be like that or they're just being taught amongst their peers. So it's kind of, it's kind of sad to see this. Because you wish that there's just some people in your life telling you that it's fine. Like, take a good look at current situations. There's a lot of cases where a lot of babies are being dumped by the road. And how did they get there in the first place? Because they don't have basic sex education. And they're blaming the religion and the, con and the parents, but actually, they just don't have basic sex education. It's just, there's so many problems, but it's just like one of them.
hmm. macam sedang set antara macam mana baby lahir kan dia macam story tentang macam mana baby tu boleh buat daripada kena lelaki tu masuk dalam uh, perempuan kan lepas tu lelaki tu nak berumba untuk berumba uh, lelaki pergi keluar daripada punai lelaki lepas tu masuk dalam punai perempuan lepas tu semua semua biji biji lelaki tu nak berumba lepas tu lepas tu jalan jalan pergi benih uh, perempuan lepas tu siapa menang dia dia akan pergi jadi baby tu lepas tu dia pergi masuk lepas tu dia dia benih lelaki yang menang tu macam kepala dia sudah semakin besar badan dia dah semakin besar kaki dia semakin besar tangan dia semakin besar hmm. macam tu oh okey seks tu macam cara untuk dapat baby kan saya dulu saya ingat kan seks macam ni je macam um, macam dia macam benih lelaki dah macam dah pergi jadi macam besar dah secara tiba tiba lepas tu lepas tu semakin dia besar sikit dia pergi ke perempuan lepas tu bila dia dah kena benih perempuan sikit dia semakin besar lepas tu dia dah kena uh, dia dah kena ikat oleh pusat tahu pusat tu lepas tu dia 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 terikat dengan pusat tu lepas tu dia dapat makan dia semakin besar 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 sampai jadi baby umur kosong bulan kacau lah um, sex um, look like um, the, lelaki kena macam tahu and then the and then uh, and then lelaki punya punya biji eh, benih kat pergi lalu lepas tu lepas tu semua lelaki tengah berumba eh yeah. Ya, lepas tu ada lelaki masuk. Lepas tu dia per, dia pergi dapat pus benih lelaki tu terikat oleh pusat. Kat pusat dia. Lepas tu dia besar dan besar dan besar. Besar dan besar. Dulu dalam ancient macam mana macam mana dia orang dia orang tua kan, dia kena pegang perut dia kuat-kuat kan mak. Lepas tu nanti perut dia tiba-tiba terkoyak. Kan mak? Kan? Lepas tu, dia dah besar Macam ni Dia dah besar dah Sangat besar Macam ni Kita kita semua tak perlukan ikut umur Kita ikut ikut Kita punya otak Semua orang ikut umur sebab Semakin besar dia orang Semakin, semakin bagus dia orang belajar Macam tu Tapi, ada yang budak Yang dia cepat belajar buat belajar tentang benda yang kita patut belajar. Lepas tu macam macam kaitan tentang sex video sex video ni umur 13 tahun tapi saya nak buat saya umur 10 tahun. Saya boleh belajar tentang sex masa saya umur 10 tahun. Kau rasa penting tak sex? Belajar tentang sex. Penting sebab kita belajar macam mana kita lahir wujud dari dunia ni untuk makhluk hmm? oh. hmm. 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 apa yang kamu lakukan? apa yang kamu Thank you.